G'day guys, M Tim Tam here. Today we're going to learn about the camera within Octane Render. Now, well, what do you have to learn about the camera? Well, where all the camera options are. I did explain this in the beginning of the uh, first, um, the setup. However, this is a more in-depth version. So, to select your camera, since we need to get the camera options, select the camera. Whoops. Hang on, let's just move away from that. Okay, that's better. So, here we have our camera. Move this out of the way. Let's get into a good position. Okay, so the camera options are pretty self-explanatory. So like I said, do not touch the camera attributes of the camera film, only mess within the Octane camera options. So here we have the orthographic view, so this is pretty much how we control that. You cannot, you, can, you cannot move around in the orthographic view, do not know why, but it's not letting me. So check the orthographic, if you want the orthographic view to work. Next we have the focal length, which is pretty much your FPS. Uh, what you want to do when you want to have an FPS, we have the aperture which focuses on the depth of field. So let's put it to zero point, let's put it to zero point five, zero point one. Uh, that is the aperture. Let's get back to the camera. Um, so we have the, let's just put that back to about zero. We have stereo for all of the 3D lovers. Um, we can change it to the red and the bl blue. Or whatever you want to do your 3D, which is pretty cool. Uh, we have the lens shift um, for doing those high res images for the people that do not have enough VRAM. I'm one of those guys. We have the focal depth along with the near depth depth. And we also have autofocus for the lazy people like me. He cannot be fagged doing that sort of stuff. So, uh, also, um, yeah, that's pretty much all we have for the imaging. Um, uh, as we have for the imaging, uh, these are the options you have, um, and hopefully will help you within the future for your work. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.